years, the east coast and southern states of our country has been hit drastically with natural disasters like Hurricane Michael, Katrina, Ike, Florence and Harvey. Yeah, those storms leave not only destruction, chaos and a number of unanswered questions, but it's also a wonder how and where some of those families pick up the pieces. Our Shea Day has one family story. Just over a year ago, our city of Lubbock became the new home for the James family, who was displaced due to Hurricane Harvey. We were doing fine in our home. It had rained probably about 40 inches by that point. They told us that the Corps of Engineers was going to uh, open up the dams for the reservoirs in Houston. Um, but, of course, none of us knew what that meant. In a matter of an hour, it went from just over our curb to water coming through the doors and under the baseboards. There is still some doubt around the decision made to release the reservoirs. That house was 47 years old and it's never flooded. It was only until they released those reservoirs that we actually flooded. The James family was eventually rescued by friendly strangers willing to lend them a ride. They made their way to Spring, Texas and later decided to visit family here in Lubbock. But it was their return back to Houston that still brings a smile to their faces. I had turned the corner in my neighborhood and the very first thing that I see is a truck from Carpet Tech. And now they say Lubbock is their home. Well, I have a senior and a junior now in high school who both decided after that year uh, that they wanted to go ahead and stay and finish high school here. But in the reflection and in light of those who are suffering now from natural disasters, he shares his best advice. Everything that we had and that we lost, it's just stuff. You know, we were able to get our family out safely. You know, there's people that didn't make it through that that chose to stay in their homes and paid the ultimate price for that. Rache Ade, KLBK News. All right, thanks, Rache. Well, the start of autumn is...